All right, welcome back. Since you kind of have an idea of how these weapons are made, you know, just simple Lua stuff, now it's time to go into some bigger and better things, like extracting and hexing your models. So, I have, I have a little thing of models I downloaded a while ago from Game Banana. So, say I want to do this, um, what's a good one? Hmm. I like this MP5. So I'm going to extract it here. And I actually probably shouldn't have done that. Let me ex so I don't mess up anything. Let me extract to its folder. Because I already have one. So you'll get something like this. It may be different, maybe the same. But you have always you have four things: materials, models, scripts, and sounds. So I'm going to set them all up. And I'm going to use this guy's custom animations. So let me get everything all organized for you. And I hate when it does that. There you go. Here's what you're left with. So, the big thing is, how do you hex the models so they don't overwrite each other? Simple enough, you need to rename them one by one. Now, there's a trick to this. You have to rename it so they don't override other models. Now, people are not unique with doing this. Say they want to rename it from MP5 to MP6. Now everybody and their mother does that. So, it kind of makes people want to kill each other. And especially, don't name it like this and just drop it in there because that will override the CSS model and you'll have most of the community wanting to come and kill you. Alright. So. Now, all you want to do is just rename them. So, if you want to do something special, you can do a three-letter thing. Like I'll do my three first initials. And you can go down the line and do that. Now, that doesn't work. So I wouldn't recommend doing something like that. Thank you. After actually forcing the computer to do that. So you rename them. I'm just using the tab key and the arrow keys. And this is the only really good way to do it. I think there was some guy who made a small program that did it, but you know, the less executable the better. So you want to go down the line and rename all these. And I missed one. So give me a second. Okay. From here, all you have to do is download a program, which I'm going to leave in the description, of course, called XVI32. Now, it's a pretty simple program. I'm going to launch it by just clicking on here. It looks very complicated, but trust me, it isn't. Because whenever you have to hex a model, all you have to do is work with this right here. And what you're going to do is change this so it is that. And you're done. Now, make sure to not delete any of those, ever, or the gods will come and kill you, like everything else will kill you. So, if you do delete any of these, it will screw up the model, create a bunch of errors, probably crash your Gmod, and all hell will break loose. So, I wouldn't recommend doing that. But, it's one of those things, you know. So, once you're done with that, make sure to save it, exit out, do the next one the world model. And save it again, and you're done. Alright. Well, that was simple enough. Hopefully this will help you guys out. Yes, there's one little thing that I forgot to add into this current video, which is that when you do hex these models, 
make sure you have the exact same number of characters that you started with and that you end with. Otherwise, you'll get a massive amount of problems through um, the, the hexing process. You'll get errors with the models, you may crash your Gmod, and it's a big time waste, so I suggest you don't do it. The only other way around it is actually decompiling and compiling the model and changing the name in the QC. But with view models, you'll run into trouble with that. So I will go over that in a different video. So that is all I have for you today.